Significant movement in political forecasting tonight. All of a sudden, serious concern for Democrats across America one week before Election Day. Two well-respected polling organizations just reported Republicans are making significant gains. One is Nate Silver's 538, the other the Cook Political Report. And here are the details. Cook today shifted 10 more House seats in districts that President Biden won two years ago, shifted them towards Republicans to one degree or another. The move is to the right. And 538 changed its projection for control of the Senate to Republicans. It's the first time Nate Silver's 538 has made that assessment since July. Now, make no mistake, the polls are still razor thin, and they're polls, so who knows? But one Senate seat could be the difference in who controls the Senate in this divided nation. But most pollsters do now agree if either side has a late advantage, it's the Republicans. Both parties are bringing in some of their biggest names in a last-ditch effort to turn out voters. Former Vice President Mike Pence in Georgia today. President Biden hit Florida. And tonight, former President Obama campaigning for a Democrat in one of the closest races in the country, Nevada's Senate seat. It's a race that in just one week could determine which party controls the United States Senate. We have complete coverage tonight. CBC's Alan Moy in Las Vegas. First, NBC's Ali Vitale in Miami Gardens, where President Biden's about to speak at a Democratic fundraiser, and the connection's a little shaky. But Ali, good evening. And a little loud in here, too, Shep, because President Biden is about to take the stage. This is the second event that he's done here in the Sunshine State, and he came here with voters a warning for them, specifically on Republicans who may seek to cut funding for things like Social Security and Medicare. A prescient message here in a state that boasts an elderly population that does often turn out to vote. But look, it comes against the backdrop of the Republican Party struggling here in polls against the Republican incumbents in both the Senate and governor races. Marco Rubio and Ron DeSantis showing consistent leads in their re-election battles over the Democrats. And look, the Miami Herald put it well. I'll put, uh, here's a quote. They say, Biden coming here is a Hail Mary pass for a Democratic Party that's expecting the worst after digging itself into a hole over the past years. One of those places that's going to have an interesting story to tell on election night, even if there's no surprises in these races, is Miami-Dade County, a typically Democratic stronghold, but Republicans have been able to cut into Democratic gains in that county simply by doing a better job of speaking to Hispanic voters there. That's one of the key stories that we're going to be looking at, even as all the voters around me are raising their hands, that they are going to vote or already have done so, Shep.